Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back with another tips and tricks video for you guys And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to improve your aim here in Fortnite and give you guys some of my best tips when it comes to aiming here in Fortnite Having very good aim in Fortnite does take a lot of time and a lot of practice to do But there is a few tips I can give you guys when it comes to aiming to help you guys improve the fastest way and to hit more shots while you're in those gunfights as of last night, I did hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've been showing, for all the likes, comments, and subs. And for my V-Buck giveaway, I chose a random video in between when I hit 10,000 subscribers and when I hit 20,000 subscribers. I picked a random video and a random comment. I had two winners. The two winners of my giveaway are by the names of Shadowhawk and Julius Brown. You two are my winners of my giveaway. For both of my winners, I will be messaging you guys a code which you can redeem for 2,000 V-Bucks so you can get whatever skin you want. Thank you all so much for entering the giveaway. I will be doing more giveaways in the future. When I start doing giveaways again, I might do weekly giveaways or I might do giveaways just when the new skin comes out so you guys can get that new skin. I haven't decided yet, but I definitely will be doing more V-Buck giveaways in the future so that you guys who are really active on my page have another chance to win in my giveaways. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can improve your aim in Fortnite and get really good aim. And there's a few tips I can give you guys on how to get really good aim. But ultimately, it does take a lot of time and a lot of practice to have that very good aim. So let's get right into the tips. Okay, the first tip I want to give you guys is it has to do with sensitivity. I talk about this in some of my other videos, but sensitivity is really important, especially for your console players. And when it comes to console, the way I see sensitivity, right... For me, I put on a 7-7 seven, seven sensitivity. I used to play on a 9-9, nine, nine, but my accuracy was a little bit off, so that's why I decided to move down. But the way I see sensitivity and aiming in Fortnite, or any game really, is when it comes to the higher sensitivities, the higher sensitivity you play on, you risk a lot of aim. So that's why I decided to move down. The way I see it for Fortnite, if you have a very high sensitivity when you're playing on console, you can build a lot faster, but you do risk a lot of aim. And of course, the opposite is true. When you lower your sensitivity, the lower sensitivity you have on, the slower you're able to build and slower you're able to turn. So you have to find that right balance. And the right balance for me was 7-7. Seven, seven. I used to play on a 9-9, nine, nine, but I was missing a ton of shots. So if you guys are playing on 10-10 ten, ten, and you see your accuracy is not very good, I would definitely turn it down. I would say I would try an 8-8. Eight, eight. That is a very solid sensitivity to have. But for me personally, I found the best sensitivity for me was 7-7. Seven, seven. It's not right for everybody, but for me, that's what I've been playing on. When it comes to aiming, there is another really important concept to know, and that's when, when you're in a gunfight, especially close range, well it goes for any range, but especially close range, just keep in mind, when it goes for aiming down your sights on your target, like really close range, just know you're really easy to hit, as opposed to jumping in gunfights, so when you're in a close range gunfight, just keep in mind, if you're standing still and aiming, you're a lot more accurate, but a lot easier to get hit and tagged on. But when you're in a gunfight and you're jumping around, you're a lot less accurate, but you're harder to hit. So just keep that in mind in gunfights. You don't always have to be 100% accurate ADSing every single gunfight because there's a lot of times it's better off missing a few more shots if you can jump around and dodge their bullets. Because when you're jumping around, they're probably going to be panicking, missing a ton of shots on you. So if you're doing that, you're going to be a lot harder to hit. Yes, it might not make you as accurate if you're jumping around in gunfights, but you will win a lot more gunfights. Because if you're aiming down sights close range, you are a really easy target to hit because you're not moving at all. And they're going to get a lot of easy shots. And especially with the pump, if you try to use them with an SMG close range and you're aiming down sights and they have a pump or a heavy, they're going to do a lot of damage and a lot of big hits. So that's just something to keep in mind when going into gunfights. The next thing you can do to improve your accuracy here in Fortnite is the strafe. And for those of you guys who don't know what strafing is, it's something that I did all the time back in Call of Duty. And it's still very effective in Fortnite. Is basically when you're aiming at your sights, you also use your left stick to aim, not just your right stick. And what I mean by that, for those of you guys who already don't know what this is, I have an example right here that I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what that is. So this here is what it looks like when you don't strafe. It's basically just using the right stick to aim. And if someone's running across, you just drag it over. But if you want to strafe and it makes you a lot more accurate is you walk in the direction that they're moving to. And you don't, so basically how that makes you more accurate is you don't have to move the right stick as much. And which makes it a lot more easier to shoot. This is something I do in every single shooter game. And it's very effective for hitting a lot more shots. Because like I said earlier, the higher sensitivity, the more shots, pretty much the more shots you're going to miss. And what this does is it kind of lowers your sensitivity in a way. Because when you're strafing, you don't have to move the right stick as much. So you're not going to miss as many shots as you would if you were just using the right stick. 
So if this is something you don't already do in your games, make sure you do this. This is a big factor in improving your aim. It helps me improve my aim a ton. And not only does it improve your aim, but when you're strafing, you're also moving, which makes you a little bit harder to hit as a target. So if you're moving and you're strafing at the same time, it's going to give you a lot more accuracy and it's going to make it harder for the other person you're shooting at to shoot at you. This also applies to shotguns as well as not just for ARs and SMGs, which mostly for ARs and SMGs, but shotguns. This is very important as well because when, when it comes to aiming with shotguns, you can either flick shot or you can kind of jump shot or strafe shot. When it comes to flick shotting, which basically all you do is flick and shoot, when it comes to flick shot, a lot of the times you're not going to get a lot of high damage shots because you're basically just going to hit a few pellets on them. And when it comes to that, you want to get the most pellets on the guy. So that's how you're going to do the most amount of damage. And since a few patches ago, they made it consistent, so the pellets should be the same. But who knows, I'd be getting all those low damage hits where I shoot right at the guy. But it's supposed to be consistent, which means if most of your crosshair is on the other guy, you're going to do the most amount of damage that way. So when you, when you flick shot, a lot of times you're not going to get a high amount of damage shots because you're only going to hit a few pellets. But if you use the strafing technique with the shotgun, you're going to get a lot more pellet damage hit because you're going to jump in the direction they're jumping at. It's going to be a lot more accurate and most of your crosshair is going to be on the other guy. So you're going to do a ton more damage that way. And that's how I usually do it. A lot of times I don't flick shot from time to time I do. It really depends on the situation. But most of the time I usually just jump shot and strafe with the shotgun. And that's just how I use the shotgun. And that's how I can get a lot of, of high damage and consistent shots with my shotgun. One thing that I've been seeing in Fortnite is people are not using the first shot accuracy on their guns. And not every gun has first shot accuracy. I don't think SMGs and the dual wood pistols have first shot accuracy. But for, this is mainly for assault rifles. And when it comes to aiming with assault rifles from medium to longer ranges, using that first shot accuracy is very important. They put it in the game, I think it was late season 3 when they put that in the game. And before going into the gunfights, it's really important that you get the most amount of tags off because you want to try to make the guy low before you challenge. That's always my number one rule when it comes to going into gunfights is getting that first shot off, getting that first damage off. And that's really important and first shot accuracy helps with that a ton. When I see someone running maybe in the opposite direction or across my screen, I wait for that first shot accuracy. Well, especially when long distance, because if you try to RNG from a long distance, a lot of the times you're not going to get any damage shots off. So you want to make sure you're using that first shot accuracy. You want to wait for that reticle to close in. And as soon as it closes, take a shot. And a lot of times, of course, with the bullet drive off, you're only going to get like a 24, 25 damage shot. And then with the first shot accuracy, a second you shoot, your reticle opens up. But if you wait another maybe quarter second, it closes again. So you can wait for that first shot accuracy, wait a split second, and then shoot another first shot accuracy. You can get a ton of easy tags that way because your bullets are always going to go straight. And because RNG is a pain in this game. And one thing I've noticed, a lot of times people don't turn around and start building instantly after you shoot at them. Because a lot of times they're not even ready to get shot at, especially if they don't see you. You know, they're not going to be ready for it. So a lot of times you can get two, three, maybe even four tags off a of shield before. Before you even challenge the guy, which is going to set you up for a huge advantage going into that gunfight. Because that guy's going to be low. You're going to already have this guy's shield ripped off. And that's when you want to challenge the gunfight after you get a few tags off. So using that first shot accuracy is very important and crucial in gunfights. One thing I forgot to mention on first shot accuracy is if you crouch, your reticle actually comes in a lot faster than if you were standing. And that comes back to my point with strafing. You only want to do that in close quarter ranges. You don't want to do it from long ranges all the time because when you strafe and you're moving, your reticle opens up a ton, which makes it a lot less accurate. But of course, if you're in those medium to closer ranges, if you strafe, you're going to hit a lot of those shots. Just because of how close you are, the reticle doesn't really matter too much. First shot accuracy really just depends on how far the other guy you're trying to shoot is. And a lot of times, you can get a lot of cross map hits with first shot accuracy. So that is definitely something that you guys should be using. So improving your accuracy, close range to medium range, definitely strafe. But when it comes to those long range gunfights or long range, you definitely want to crouch and wait for that first shot accuracy because you're going to get those shots across the map. Because RNG is definitely a pain in this game and you're going to be missing a ton of shots due to RNG. And a lot of that's pretty unpreventable. But if you use that first shot accuracy, if you use that to your advantage, across map shots are going to be a ton easier to hit and a lot more consistent to hit as well. Like I said earlier in this video, when it comes down to getting your accuracy improved, it does take a lot of time and a lot of practice, but if you use these tips, you're going to become a lot better at aiming a lot faster. So with that being said, that's the wrap up for this video on tips on how to improve your aim or how to aim better. If the video helped, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turn on my post notifications so you guys get notified every single new video, and a big thank you for all the guys who have been supporting. On the grind of 30k subscribers, so if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you do so. Hit that subscribe button. 
Definitely we'll be doing more giveaways in the future very soon. So make sure you guys stay up to date with everything. And alright guys, I will see you in the next video.